Okay, so we're back, and um, we just got done installing a program. So now we're going to go back. CD dot dot CD dot dot CD dot dot. Oh, I didn't need that one, but anyway, go to CD uh, uh, tilde, which is a little squiggly up by the escape key, and hit enter. And that will take you to like your home folder. Now you need to go to CD dot wine cd drive underscore c and you can uh, list it here this one un installs under games most things install under program files so i'm just going to go cd games and then it's lemball so cd lemball and then it's lemball.exe so i type in wine lemball.exe i hit enter and then i wait a little bit because it has to start this up, and here we go. We have Lemmings Paintball, an amazing game from 1996 that runs just about the same. It used to run better on here. I'm not sure why it doesn't anymore, but it used to run better on the Mac than it did on the PC because it's designed for like Windows 95 or whatever, but I don't really know. So it's done loading, so here we are we have just like we would have on a PC. Um, since newer versions of Windows have come out, the full screen option doesn't work with this, so that's a bummer. Um, local area networking doesn't seem to be working. Network facilities not available. I don't know if that's just for this game or for all programs. I know that you can get internet access with stuff though, so um, it all works perfectly fine. Um, you can play everything just like you would normally and you can actually use left and right click even with a magic mouse so right click shoots and left click goes and it works completely perfectly so I'm just gonna close this now um, now I'm gonna show you uh, Office 2007 running so we're gonna go list it again program files now very important when you're trying to go to something that has a space between it, you have to go CD space program forward slash files. Well, space files. That's how you get it. Okay, so we'll list it again. CD Microsoft forward slash office. CD office 12. Um, and then it's winword. So wine winword.exe. And this will load Microsoft Word 2007, just like it would load on a PC. So, it's loading. And it tends to load stuff full screen a lot. I'm not sure what that means. But it tends to load things full screen a lot. So you just drag it to make it normal. And so now you have Word 2007, which I'm not really sure why you'd want it since you can use Word 2008 that runs natively and is in my opinion a lot better but some people like it so I don't know um, what else did I install uh, oh I installed Firefox so I will show you that ls cd mozilla forward slash firefox ls again um, there it is, there's the exe, so I type winefirefox.exe can minimize terminal when I'm using the program. So here we go, we have Firefox. And I've actually gone in and customized it a little bit with the persona, added a few add-ons, so it works perfectly fine. I don't think Flash works but why would you really need to use flash because you can just use safari or firefox for mac don't really even know why you'd want to have firefox for pc on your mac but it's just proof that it works there are a lot of applications that do not work however um, a lot of games don't work because they require like high graphics stuff so i don't really know what to say there um, I know that The Sims, it won't let me type in my serial number, so that sucks. And then The Sims 2, 
it requires DirectX 9.0, and I think that Wine supports 8, not 9. So that's a bummer too. But what what more can you ask for? It's free. It's open source. It saves you a lot of headaches a lot of the time. Um, yes, it is kind of cumbersome to have to be using the terminal all the time. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out how to get shortcuts to work so that I can just like double click on something and it'll it'll send the command to terminal. I'm sure there's definitely some easy way. I'm just not good enough to be able to do that. But anyway, um, that's just about it. So if you need help with this, please, please, please ask me for help. You can comment on the video. You can email me. Uh, it's Gavin at GavinRossCamp.com. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what else to say. You can just ask any question. I will hopefully be able to answer it. If you need help with the command line, Google is your best friend. Um, if you need that list of programs that work with Wine, just go to that list and take a look. There's some really good ones that work with it. Um, I think that The Sims 3 works with it, surprisingly. I'm not sure. I don't have The Sims 3, so I can't really tell you. So that's pretty much it for today. Um, I think that I'm going to have episodes once a month and blog posts once a week. I currently have the blog post once a week over at blog.gavinroscamp.com. Every Sunday I post a new blog post and I'm hoping that this one actually stays on schedule for like forever because it doesn't require a lot of stuff to do. I can just push it out there even if I don't really have time. So actually today's blog post, because today is Sunday, today's blog post I talked about this and I redirected you to the guide and I'm actually gonna link this video to that so that you can see that and I'm gonna link that blog post to this so uh, you can check out the blog blog.gavinroscamp.com you can subscribe through RSS or you can follow me on Twitter twitter.gavinroscamp.com I am at GTT news and I'll post there whenever I update the site, whenever I post a blog post, and whenever I post a video. Um, that's just about it. So if you have any questions, comments, email me, gavin at gavinroscamp.com. Leave a comment below. Please like this video or dislike it if you don't like it. If you dislike it, please tell me why you dislike it. Um, subscribe if you feel so inclined to. And I guess that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.